are starting with 100%, as we always do. And we are dropping 11.9%. What percent are we, do we have? It is not 89.1%. Nice try. Ah, uh, 88.1. Me too. Okay, if you are if you are dropping 11.9%, that means you are keeping 88.1. Okay. So when I'm writing my equation, what goes in these parentheses based on that number? What goes in the parentheses? 0 0.881. 0 0.881. Remember, we talked about how all you're doing is you're moving that decimal place over two places to the left to change it from a percentage to a decimal. Now, the part in the front has to be the starting amount. Kilopascal is a unit of measurement of for atmospheric pressure. Suppose the atmospheric pressure at sea level is about 100 kilopascals. What, what's this? What's so important about that number? That is your starting amount. The biggest mistake you can make for this question, the biggest mistake you can make is to put 4,000 in for the exponent. Because the next part of it says, for every 1,000 meters, then you're dropping that 11.9%. Are we, are we dropping 11.9% 4,000 times? No. Every 1,000 meters we do that. So if we're dropping 4,000 total, or we're going up 4,000 total, how many times have we dropped that 11.9%? Four times, right? So we don't want 4,000. We just want four up there, right? That's four 1,000-meter increases. So use your machine. You have to use your machine. Folks, this is not as simple as subtracting 11.9, you know, four times. That's not what we're getting at. It would be incorrect if you did that. Okay, so what'd you get when you plugged in four? I am. What'd you get? 60.24? Okay. If you're not getting that value, I'd like to see. Now remember, what did I say about rounding? Do I care if you put 60.2? Do I care if you round it down to the whole number 60? What do I care about? I care that you show me your work. So the rounding issue is not the biggest of deals. As long as you round correctly. Now, if you're going to round to 61, yeah, I got an issue. Because you didn't do it right. But the decimal that you choose to round to, I'm not going to be panicking which way you rounded it to. This says round to the nearest whole number. So if you did 60, okay, fine.
okay? If we are increasing at 5%, what, dec what, what decimal are you going to put inside those parentheses? Please do not tell me 0 0.05 because 0 0.05 would mean you would lose 95% of your money every year. That's not a good idea. How much? Don't say. Yeah, she's in a weird mood. All right. 0 0.05 would mean you lose a lot of money. 95% of your money is going down the drain every single year if you put 0 0.05. 0 0.5 would mean we lose 50% of our money. See, you keep choosing numbers that are lower than 1, and we want our money to go up. Oh, my goodness, folks. We said 100%. I'll draw the diagram again. 5% increase. 1%. Yes, it is 1%. So 1.05. For those of you who were saying 1.05, despite the other people saying other random things, you were right. Now, if I put a 5 in there, instead of 1.05, I just put 5? Holy cow, my money's growing at a large, fast rate. You're, you're multiplying it by 5 every year? Fantastic. Completely unrealistic. Okay, so what goes in the first blank? Um, no, it looks like we start with. I know you were you were ahead of me. You were ahead of me. Yes, the starting minus twenty five hundred. You should be able to answer A and B right now. A and B. In fact, I bet you can answer A, B, and C. Go. Use your calculator. You have to have that calculator for. Sure. Well, what does it say in letter A? Okay, so
So hopefully you got 3,038 points, 7, 7, okay? And $5,730.05, okay? Now, could you answer part C at least for me? How many years would it take for the account to get to three grand? Four. Four years. Yeah, you had it in part, you had the answer staring at you in part A. Now for part D, we need guess and check. So we're going to have to, we're trying to figure out when we're going to get 3,500 out of this thing. So, if I literally start with, let's say I start with 10 years, I could see that that's too much. So I would back it down. Okay, maybe I choose eight. Still think it's too much. Some of, I heard some of you say seven. Yeah, that's it right there. Seven years would take me to uh, just over the 3,500 mark. So we kind of guessed and checked. I am going to teach you eventually how to do that and get the exact number instead of just approximating by guess and check. Not today. So we found seven.